Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Jairam Ramaswamy and I'm a solution architect at Dynatrace. Today, we are going to get an overview of how the Dynatrace ServiceNow integration would help you transform the way you work. Dynatrace is a platform that provides software intelligence. It gives you visibility and more importantly, precise AI-backed answers across your entire digital ecosystem, including the digital experience of your users, the performance of your applications and infrastructure, and your IT operations. Dynatrace One Agent automatically detects all running software services and applications in real time with all their dependencies. All applications, services, and microservices, as well as infrastructure components such as each individual running process and host are seamlessly discovered and monitored. What are the use cases of this integration? From working with different customers, we have gathered a few main reasons why. The number one reason is managed enterprise silos and digital transformation. Within organizations, the infrastructure and application teams have to work hand in hand to solve any service issues or infrastructure issues. This integration helps with making sure these incidents are assigned to the right teams and making sure the need for emails is at a minimum, enabling cross-functional team collaboration and digital transformation. Manage the big picture of service infrastructure in real time. Dryatrace is unique in the way it correlates and delivers impact and root cause to ServiceNow. It provides full transactional and information is real time. It also helps manage change within service infrastructure towards automation. Dynatrace AI also helps with detection of any change within the service infrastructure and helps with opening maintenance windows, which can also be used to open change requests in ServiceNow. The three big challenges that IT teams face today, the IT complexity, managing highly dynamic, hybrid, multi-cloud, microservices-based environments can be challenged. There's lack of visibility. IT operations team can struggle just to get full visibility into what's happening, let alone to pinpoint the root cause of problems. And then user expectations, lack of insight into user experience and unable to prioritize before business impact. Dryatrace and ServiceNow solves these challenges through automation. Simplifying complexity, it helps in automatically tracing of uh, services, applications, topology and dependencies with code level insights for an end-to-end -end picture of IT health. It provides complete visibility with its determinist AI providing full real-time visibility into application and infrastructure problem identification with precise root cause analysis and business impact. It also helps to give a positive user experience by giving comprehensive real user insights, driving proactive and measurable experience improvements before impact. The main integration offerings are the instant integration, the CMDB integration, and the events integration. Let's jump into a demo. First, let me show you how the instant integration works. In Dynatrace, the one agent monitors all the different CIs, and when it detects any issues on any of these CIs, it raises a problem, as you see here. The kick service here is experiencing a failure rate increase to 97%. In ServiceNow, corresponding incident, it shows you the failure rate increase, the short description, the impacted CI, which is the kick service, and click on the dependency view. You also see all the relationships which have been brought over by the CMDB integration. If I switch back to this, you can also see the resolution details and also the creation details of the specific uh, problem or incident from Dynatrace. Next, let me show you the events integration. Every problem in Dynatrace will have one or more events associated with it. Dynatrace pushes events for the corresponding incident into event management tables in ServiceNow. For the same Dynatrace problem which I showed you earlier, here are the two events created. Let me switch to ServiceNow. You can see these two events created in the event management tables in ServiceNow. If I click into it, you can see all the details of the event which is sent across. You can also see the additional information field which holds Dynatrace specific data. We also do CI binding with a default Dynatrace service event rule. You can also just use event integration to create incident by creating custom event rules if you don't want to enable instant integration. And finally, CMDB integration. We pull in some of the Dynatrace entities like applications, which are real user monitoring applications like a web URL or a mobile touch point or a custom application like an ATM. We pull um, transaction and services, which are uh, web services or method calls or function calls. 
We also pull process groups, which are depicted as technologies in the UI, which are basically processes like Java, IIS, .NET, Go, as you see on the screen. Um, and also we pull in the host in which these processes run. Uh, these hosts are basically Windows, Linux, or AIX servers. Let me go in to one of the Windows hosts and show you the details of the relationships, um, to some of the metadata which we pull, um, and also the tags, etc. So if you see closely, we have these two tags, which are host name and Azure tenant, um, which also gets pulled into ServiceNow. Now these tags are automatically generated by Dynatrace or manually generated. These can be used in ServiceNow for uh, instance, uh, assigning the assignment group when a CI gets, when this specific Windows server gets impacted. Uh, also, we pull, have all the other information which is available via the API. You can also see processes which run on top of the host, the IS app pool, also the Weather Express with Node.js. We also see all the different metrics which is captured in Dynatrace, but these don't get pulled into ServiceNow. Let me show you the Smartscape view. It's basically a relationship view of the windows and the, all the processes and services which run on If you see closely, you'll see the processes, which is the two ASP.NET processes, the IS app pool, and the Node.js processes, which we just saw uh, on the screen earlier. Also on top of these are four ASP.NET web request services and also some JavaScript services which are running. On the right hand of the side, you can also see all the horizontal relationships for each of these CIs. So this is what we also pull across in ServiceNow. In ServiceNow, if you see this, you'll be able to see all some of the metadata we pull in. The main thing here is the relationship. We pull in all the vertical relationships automatically from Dynatrace via the API. If I go into the dependency view, you'll be able to see all these relationships which are uh, basically horizontal relationships between hosts and hosts. We also pull in horizontal relationships between services and services. So the, the, there's a lot of relationships which can be pulled and you don't have to start or create service maps. These are automatically created for you via the integration. In ServiceNow, the same day integration is done via the service graph connector for Dynatrace app. This can again be downloaded and installed from the ServiceNow store. As you see, there are different menu items where you have a guided setup, which shows you how to set the whole integration up. It also has environment data, the Dynatrace tenant data, which you're connecting to, to pull all the information of the CIs. And the corresponding host, the process groups, services, and the applications. All this data is being collected uh, in ServiceNow uh, via this Dynatrace ServiceNow integration. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and demo of the Dietary Service Now integration. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me or the Dietary Support team at success at Thank you and have a great day.